No, it's not a new DLC. It's a full-on game, standalone, whatever. So Malf seems to be really into it, but uh, no, nah, it's not for me. Sega. I'd rather play Open X, come or Xenonauts. Hey, right. Load campaign. I played a bit of Rise of the Samurai, actually. Which you can see here. After, uh, after the stream. Mostly because I needed to test it out a bit. I've basically solved the crashing issue, I think. Fingers crossed. Um, by basically putting the game into shader mode 3 instead of shader mode 5. Visually, it looks fucking identical. I don't know what the difference honestly is. Like, you don't have tessellation anymore, I guess, but that's about it. Um, but, it, yeah, it looks just fine, and it doesn't crash anymore, so that's nice. Also, I just want to go to sound and... Turn the master volume down a bit, because it was a, it was just a smidge loud in the last stream when I looked on the VOD. So, uh, where are we at? Takeda, spring 1550, I think. Yeah. Very good. It's Takeda Shingen himself. As appeared in the movie Kagemusha. Which is a fantastic film. I think I'm going to rewatch it. Possibly this evening, as a matter of fact. Hey, Barry X. Oh, I see you're mocking me. You're mocking me in my black screen. I, 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 I cl clearly I need to put up an endless looping video of of gameplay that everyone's seen ten million times instead. That's that's what I need to do. Right, here we are. With the Takeda clan having recently conquered this place. So this is this is the castle that we were trying to take last time when the game crashed again. Uh, basically. Let's get that repaired. Um, but I reloaded it after changing it to Shader Model 3 and testing, and then I took the castle, no problem. So And then I then I played a bunch of Rise of the Samurai to make sure it was actually fixed. And it does seem to be fixed, unless it's a an OBS related problem which it could be for all I know but well there's only one way to find out if it fucks up and fails I'll probably switch to some Dominions 5 or something or, or play some more Battle Brothers like last time anyway for now ooh Yari Drill Yard ah it gets us Naginata Samurai and Yari Samurai I don't know if I really need Yari Samurai they seem like a we bit of a waste, considering you can get peasant spearmen, which do the job of killing cavalry just as well, and they're way cheaper. But the Naginata guys, on the other hand, they could be decent. They could be decent. What's that going to cost? Two grand. What have I got in this army right now? I got three units of light cavalry, two units of katana cavalry, two units of katana samurai. They were not a thing in the original Shogun, katana samurai. Weird as it seems, they were not a thing. You got Yari samurai, you got the Naginata samurai, you got no Dachi samurai with the big fucking gigantic two-handers. Um, there were no regular katana samurai though, oddly enough. It was a bit odd, but there it was. Actually, Samurai and Rise of the Samurai are kind of interesting, because they're a very different unit. You just get this unit, you, you get a unit called Foot Samurai, and you get Mounted Samurai as well, but they're like a dual-purpose unit. They're, they have bows, and they have swords, and they're equally good at both. They're really quite interesting. Super high upkeep as well, but like mega elite, and they can do a bit of everything. What difficulty is this? Probably just normal, man. Uh, right. How much su surplus food have we got? We're actually... It's glowing red. Does that mean... I think we still have a surplus, but it's it's glowing red. Uh, that's the wrong screen, isn't it? Uh, 
I find more detailed information about that. I don't know. Am I, what am I building at the minute? Am I building much? I'm doing good, Varyx. I, um, I got, I finally got a haircut today and I feel reborn. I feel, it feels so good. I'm not br br brushing a fringe out of my face all the time anymore. It's wonderful. I missed the boat on it before, before lockdown hit and didn't actually get one. And was regretting it until today. Eventually, I threw in the towel. I was like, "Enough is enough. Hair needs to needs to go." Hmm. Let's build one of those. Don't think there's anything else to do this turn, is there? How are we on diplomacy right now? What are, what's our relationship with our neighbours at the moment? Friendly with these guys, not so friendly with them. Not very friendly with the Odor either. But I'm not sure I want to pick a fight with the Odor. I'm currently picking a fight with the Iko Iki, actually. That's what we did at the last, end of the last stream. We invaded the Iko Iki. And took one of their castles up here. While their armies are clearly busy down south somewhere. And I'm going to need to use this ninja to scout out to see what they're actually up to down there. But uh, they seem to be going on a bit of a rampage all the way down here right now. They've managed to get to Yamato province there, which is a little bit mad. They've just gone <laughs> like that, straight down and through the middle. I'm friends with the Yusugi, yes. I'm friends with them. I am friend... I'm allies with them, actually. I'm allies with the Imagawa as well, and I'm friendly with the Hojo for, my, for the moment. Yeah, Ikuiki doing that crazy, like, early game expansion with their mega good peasants. I think is what's going on there. I've, I've done it myself in the past playing as them, so I know how that goes. Right, end turn. Should put in a top knot, embrace her in a run. Not long enough for that. <laughs> it got to that point where I was either going to have to commit to making long hair a thing and eventually getting a ponytail and what have you, or it was all going to have to come off. And in the end, I decided it all had to come off. The old ways. Plus 10% wealth generated across all provinces. Plus 2 happiness across all provinces. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Traditionalists within the clan are pleased with the way in which you have dealt with the recent Christian disturbances in this province. As much as I'd like access to gunpowder units... Yeah, I didn't figure it was worth the grief. Right now... Oh, Iko Iko are fun. They are a lot of fun to play as. You're public enemy number one, but it's fun. Now, what is that? Converts populace to followers of the Iko faith. Oh, that's a problem. Let's just go ahead and torch that, shall we? I didn't notice that before. Right, Mr. Ninja. No, 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 no. Don't go sabotaging the paper mill. just want you to observe... Oh boy! Hello! My goodness, he's even managed to grab some samurai. Four bloody commanders in that army as well, and tons of Yari samurai. What are the Iko Iki doing with so many samurai? And look, they're all like rank three experience as well. Jesus. Rank six. Oh, I should go. This is a scary army. Holy shit. Oh, I've poked the bear, everybody. I have poked the goddamn bear. This is bad news. <laughs> Let's have a look at him. How effective are archers going to be against samurai in this era? I've discovered archers in Rise of the Samurai are just crazy effective. I'm wondering how effective they'll be in this. 
Because the thing about Shogun Total War and Shogun 2 as well is that none of the units have shields. The Japanese just did not use shields, apparently, for some reason. So you've got an arrow sailing towards you and you're a little, you're a little samurai. There's a bit more or less fuck all you can do about it. Wait a minute, that's the Oda. That's not the Ikoiki. What's going on? Oh, they've... Jesus, I didn't even notice the faction was different. I mean, it's sort of, it's sort of like dark yellow and light yellow. Forgive me. Uh, all right, I'm less worried now because I'm not at war with the Oda. That's okay. <laughs> Still, I was going to say, you know, that's, that's a lot of samurai for the... Do you know what, though? To be fair... The Oda have good peasants too. Why don't they use more of them? Whatever. The Oda and the Ikoiki both have good peasant units. Um, but fine. Whatevs. Little eco monk there. I could try and assassinate him, but he'll just fail miserably. Uh, you're playing Rise right now? Yeah, Rise is interesting, isn't it? Totally different unit roster. The only thing I like less about it is that it has way fewer factions, so the so the world map feels very empty. Where I, whereas I quite like the the OG Shogun campaign, where it's all these different factions all squished right together. There's very few sort of neutral rebel provinces like this. What have we got here? Oh yeah, a few spare units. Well, I'm at peace with the Oda, although they're not massive fans of me. Oh, they're indifferent now. They used to be unfriendly, now they're just indifferent. Alliance with an enemy clan. Oh, I see. Are they not? Do they not like the Imagawa? Yeah, they don't like the Imagawa. But we have past friendship going for us, trade agreement going for us as well. And the fact that we're at war with the eco is helping too. So. That's something at least. Clan is not respected. Is that them that's not respected or me that's not respected? It's probably me. Ooh, superior armor, you say? Do we have an armor or something here? What's going on with that? Yeah, we have an armorer. Nice. Get some superior. Once this, once this is done, where is it? The Naginata do Dojo. Some superior armored Naginata samurai. That would be nice. I gotta say, that would be nice. This feels very medieval Total War 2. Yeah, it does a bit. Most roads and stations. So we've got a fair bit of money coming in right now. What do we want to spend it on is the question. Seems the only thing I can really spend it on is, is roads at the moment, so I suppose we might as well. I'm probably going to be bullying these guys next. I think they're ne the next guys on my shit list at the moment. But I'm not in too much of a rush. And these guys that have been giving the Hojo a really hard time as well. Could get the Hojo totally boxed in on their little peninsula here. They'd probably get really annoyed about that, though, wouldn't they? Now that I think about it. I mean, they're friendly with me now, but... <laughs> for how much longer if I completely remove all their opportunities to, opportunities to expand?
son comes of age. Brilliant, that's a new commander then, isn't it? Yep. Takeda Shingen. Bloodthirsty. Funny thing is, we still don't know how this guy died, historically. Like, there are varying accounts of how he actually died. Okay, uh, how about... I can't build a Buddhist temple. Why is that? I don't have Zen. Fascinating. What am I researching right now? Form. Zen is that. Okay. I'm tempted to leave this open and get a Buddhist temple. So I could have, have, I could conceivably get warrior monks. If that's combined with the Naginata Dojo, I think. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to leave that alone. is probably your favorite favorite person from that time period. I have to confess to to a great degree of ignorance about this time period myself. Most of what I know about it comes from watching Kurosawa movies. Uh <laughs> to be honest, so something I should probably remedy at some point. Oh, yeah, we do have this issue with uh needing military access to get back and forth across here, which is a little bit irritating, but I I I do seem to be able to bargain for it with these guys with that without too much issue. Our oh, ninja detected. Whoa. Do you know what, Mr. Ninja? How about you go carry on exploring? Give me a nice big look at what's going on out there in the world. I'm well though. See, that's more like it. That's what I was expecting. They've all got, uh, they've got an army of peasants and some and some Ronin as well. That's what I was expecting from the Ikoiki. But uh, sweet Jesus, look at the XP rank on those archers. Why does why do all the other factions have mega experienced armies? That is some bullshit. There are worse sources, yeah, I suppose so. They're fantastic movies, though. Couldn't recommend them enough. I mean, Seven Samurai is just possibly one of the best movies ever made. It's, it's, it's just unbelievably good. Good evening. Well, I think it's still... I, I'm, I'm going to officially call it still afternoon here for now. How much longer is it till we get the... Yeah, it's two more turns. All right, let's just go. So I've been quite, I'm just enjoying the soundtrack at the minute. Uh, yeah, we're still leaving this, I think. It's tempting to go for something else, but let's just leave it, I think. 
Money's piling up. Uh, we've got one. Oh, we've run out of food surplus. Okay. Bye bye, food surplus. It's gone. It's still flashing red, and I can't remember what that means. Hmm. Where's my ninja at? Where, there he is. So sneaky, I didn't even see him. I'd like to get a really good look at the Yoda. My main rival at the minute, I would say, honestly. Famine is what that means. Oh, good. Grand. Brilliant. I don't understand why I'm losing food. Uh, let's try justice. My lord, I notice that we are not currently fielding Metsuke, despite having the ability to do so. I... I can? Oh, yeah, we can. There we go. Can see the shadows has power in the light. Metsuke, Why is this really quiet? And corruption. Keep order and watch for assassins and spies. There we go, we've got a Metsuke. Agent Apocalypse, yeah. Why am I losing food? Why am I losing food? I wish there was someone who would actually tell me the food situation. I've been upgrading the farms. I... Yeah? I mean, as far as I can currently. I'm just confused, because last time I was playing this, we had sufficient food. I had... I was at, like, one surplus. And it's being drained by something. And this is a recent thing, because this wasn't happening last time. That provides food too. This consumes food too. So this town is paying for itself. This town provides two, consumes two, paying for itself. Consumes two, provides two, consumes two. Provides two, consumes two. So where is it going? Something else around here that's consuming food? Markets also consume. Rice exchange. Consumes food. Ah. Ah. There it is. We found it. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> right. Okay. Do you know what? Hmm. I'm going to do a cheeky, cheeky reload here. See if I can stop myself going into a famine. Hello, Dr. Bob House. I'm indeed live. This is not a rerun you're watching. I never do reruns, actually, even though that's a feature. Right. 
There we are at zero. Now demolish that rice exchange. I don't care if I don't have a Mexica as a result. It needs to go. Cancel construction. There we go. That was the problem. We've got a market. We're fine with the market, but a rice exchange consumes food, and I just didn't read the fine print when I built that. There you go. Firebomb throwers, huh? What can we recruit in this town at the moment? Just peasants, basically, and a, and a Mexico. So what do we want in addition? Stables wouldn't be terrible. Obviously I can recruit cavalry down here in Kai, but being able to recruit it in more than one place would obviously be good. Uh, Psyche Den obviously gives you provincial happiness and, and extra wealth. I'm gonna go with stables. I'm gonna go with stables. What's cooking? Nothing in a minute. I'm still dieting, so... I'm perpetually hungry. I'm streaming right now to distract myself. All this talk of famine is not helping. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think all the all the historical total wars run south, which is what's making me consider picking up ye, ye old medieval total war. I saw some comments in the in the Steam reviews under it saying that it crashes a bit, which put me off slightly, but I may just give it a punt, because I've I've lost my box copy of it. I've no flipping clue where my box copy of medieval total war has got to. It's ancient. Probably in the attic somewhere. Upgrading the roads, let's upgrade them here as well. Eight grand in the bank, nice. Very nice. Two more turns till we get form, okay. Our ninja has been detected. Where's my Mexico? There he is. What can these guys do? Oversee settlement increases tax revenue, reduce actions performed by rival ninja. Okay. You go explore over here. Specialized in either armor or weapons, giving Kaga a warhorse stable, Yari Dojo, and training camp. Can give you some deadly Lancer shot cavalry. That's good to know. Maybe I shouldn't bother with the uh, the Buddhist temple then. I've already got a yeah, I've already got a Naginata Dojo. Speaking of which, give me some fucking Naginata samurai. Make that happen. Stables. I'm gonna maybe cancel the stables here. Yeah, build something else instead. Let's 
Siege Engineers Workshop. Why the heck not? Get some fire bombers just for giggles. Enjoying Shogun? Yeah, it's good. It's good fun. It's good fun. As far as the newer Total War games go, it's this is one of the better ones. I don't know if we'll ever get as far as Realm Divide, to be honest. I mean, that's good to know, but I... I my attention span being what it is, I, I would be very surprised if we played this campaign all the way through to Realm Divide becoming a thing. Okay. Pirates, that's, that's annoying, but hey. Urban Migration. The uncertainty of the harvest and the increasing profitability of the life of the artisan is driving people away from the land and into the towns. Encourage migration or prevent it. Plus 10 per turn to town growth or right, plus 25% wealth generated by farms. Growth is probably better in the long run. And I don't have a shortage of wealth right now, so. Okay, that's how shit I know that. And that'll link up back through there. Yeah, but the thing is, Valk, I consider everything post Empire. Well, technically, everything post Medieval 2 to be new Total War. Everything using the Warscape engine is new Total War to me. Problem with that problem with that Remus Rectum 2 playthrough was that I was getting kind of tired of how stupid the AI was. The battles were becoming a chore because of how dumb the enemies always were. Aside from that, I was enjoying it, but when the battles are starting to become work rather than fun, that's when it's time to stop. Don't have access to my damn cavalry. I need proving grounds for the fire cavalry. How oh, the flying fuck do I get proving grounds? They can't just fucking. Ugh, they can't just let you have a building like that produces cavalry, can they? No, you've got to have like six other buildings to actually make you make it so you can actually recruit cavalry. Oh, it annoys me. It annoys it annoys me that you have a limited number of slots you can build in even in the in these in these newer Total War games as well. What on earth was wrong with the way it worked in all the previous ones where you could just build as many buildings as you could afford? I don't get it. Fucking creative assembly fixing shit that isn't broken again. But whatever. Ships floating around now. Armed with the deadly Naginata, these samurai are lethal to infantry and cavalry units, but weak against missile troops to be honest mate virtually everything in this game is weak against missile troops but uh yeah and we've mastered form brilliant and that they gave us some Takeda bow cavalry for that which is nice just a little free unit there we are not going to go for the horse mastery although it would be very apropos for this faction 
Uh, we're going to go for Zen. Clan adopts Christianity, eh? The Ito. More is recruited. Hey, I got a Naginata Samurai. Let's swap you out for a unit of peasants. Get another unit while we're at it. Bow cavalry interrupt at war, yes. Yes, monstrously awful. Except for sieges. That was like the big Achilles heel of bow cavalry. Was sieges, unless you auto-resolved it, obviously. Way, bow cavalry, there they are. Uh, send them up here to meet these guys. I can bring these guys back down here fairly soon so we can start going after all this stuff. Who? The Kozuke. Where? Actually, no, that's the name of the province. It's not actually them. It's the Yamanuchi. Are they allies with anyone? No, they're a vassal of the Yusugi. Okay, so we're not, we're not going to be picking a fight with them then. What about this lot? They're not vassals or allies with ever anyone. Good. Jutsu Master jo Dojo, right? Minus one to set out cat samurai cavalry recruitment times in this province. Oh, really? You know what? I'll have that. Get some really elite cavalry up in here. Forgot to, forgot to move the ninja. Whoops. And him. An honorable peace. That is all I offer. It is a good offer. Honestly made. See, Crooked Shades, I appreciate you saying that, and at the same time. I'm getting such conflicting information because last stream people were saying, oh, cavalry are really good in this game. You should definitely get cavalry. So when the chat is giving you conflicting information, it's best to just ignore them, I find. They want a peace treaty for a 1600, do they? I'm actually okay with not having a peace treaty right now because being at war with them is actually boosting my reputation with the odor. So... <laughs> Although, judging by what the Imagawa are doing up there, it looks like there's not going to be much left of the Oda very soon. Yeah, I'm going to start scouting this out. One more turn so I can get a second unit of that. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I wish I could upgrade all my units here with better armor because there's an armor here like you could in Rome and Medieval. I wish I could do that, but alas. The inherently logical thing of, ooh, uh, this army I've got, make some good better armor for them, would you please, Mr. Mr. Blacksmith? That doesn't work in this game. Logic does not apply in Shogun 2, apparently, when it comes to armor. I 
Where's my ninja? There he is. There he is. Alright, go go get that and then head back this way. I wanna I wanna see what's going on over here. Ah, they've taken this, have they? Good old Imagawa. Kicking some ass, apparently. Poor Oda, they're having a bad time of it at the moment. Anyway. In turn? I so. The Eco Iggy have basically just completely relocated, which I'm noticing now on the map, which is quite funny indeed. They've just migrated south completely. And we could really deliver the killing blow to the Oda, couldn't we? It would it could be potentially a thing. But my ambitions lie to the southeast right now, honestly. situation here. Kinda looks like both sides are utterly battered at the moment. Oh, I don't know what's in the South Shinano at the moment. Swap it for a green unit. There we go. That didn't go. That that didn't work at all. Whoops. Swap for you and you. There we go. I didn't press the button like a genius. War horse stables. Oh. there this turn I could very well let's have a bit of opportunism I will listen attentively and then no allies available for them that's always nice to see what up Oda time to write a, a, a historical wrong here <laughs> Save. Assault!
people of the various provinces are strictly forbidden to have in their possession any swords, short swords, bows, spears, firearms, or other types of arms. Apparently. Right. Uh, sure. Yeah, but Rome Total War Sieges are horrific, Valk. I don't understand, dude. I much prefer these. Fucking Rome Total War Sieges with their horrible pathfinding. And your mounted units that can't dismount to fight in a siege as well. Oh, no, thank you. And the battle map for the siege is always too, way too big as well. You always have this really teeny tiny adorable little army ass a assaulting a city that is 50 times bigger than them. Sieges are great fun in multiplayer, yeah. Just fucking horrific in single player. Right. Oh, could you see my frame rate slow down as soon as I scroll over the army? Bleh. Bleh. And then it speeds up. I don't know why my FPS is so bad in this game. I don't even remember it being this bad. I can't figure it out. But anyway. Right. Expendable peasants up front. Cavalry and the general here. I think they'll march up the hill on their horses and then I'll have them dismount when they get up there potentially. Well, it's part of the way up at least. This is the angle we want to attack from, right? I guess so, yeah. That'll do. Let's march. That's what we got. I should go, Garrison. I always like the odor scheme, actually, with the purple and yellow. I do approve. Some bow peasants there. The samurai retainers. Everyone, everyone on foot start running. One of you's lot. Dismount. Has 
no 64 bit support, that probably has something to do with it. I mean, I guess, but still. I suppose that could partially explain why it's bloody crashing. Away, peasants. The artists in a group, shall we? I oh got. I do love the visual spectacle of the scenes in this game. It's quite something to behold. Counter-attack. And this dude's flying for some reason. Is this open? Yeah. Naginata Samurai. Get in there. You got your special fancy armor. Let's see what you're made of. It's a cool looking weapon, isn't it, an Aginata? Up, oh, an onwards peasant fodder. For display. What up, nagging out to dudes? Get stuck in. somewhere oh my god what's going on here oh these guys are running my guys are running away in further into their fortress that is an interesting form of retreat I must say Guys, why are you why are you just standing there? Come on. Go through the fucking gate and get You would think if we uh, just hide behind here they will just forget we are we are here and we, we we can just survive the battle that way. Oh look, they've got bow samurai up on the wall. Didn't even notice that. Let's go do something about that. Surprise! We can stop firing now, lads. Just gonna kill our own guys. You stop! I said stop! Victory, there it is. I 
So we can probably and probably should stop here actually because I've I can't remember if it's this game, but there's one Total War game where you can take the victory or you can hit continue and then sometimes because it's a stronghold battle an enemy will will regroup and then you won't be able to take the victory anymore so yeah the fire effects are great they clearly put a lot of work into those Okay, yeah, a little bit costly, but we mostly just lost peasants, which is completely fine. So, that's what you bring them along for. Aside from the fact that they have incredibly low upkeep. Like, I, 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 I really do think in this game that it's... Like, in a lot of Total War games, you make a Doom stack, don't you? You get the most elite best unit you can, and you make a full stack of the fuckers. But I think in this game, it's genuinely not a bad idea to still have some Yari Ashigaru for situations exactly like that. Because you don't want to waste these guys. But you, it's perfectly fine to waste this lot. Oh, I meant to look at the unit overview and forgot. Hooray. Any experience? A little bit. Right, my friend, what should we upgrade you with? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Enables wedge formation for cavalry and this man's command. Admiral. Stealthy. It's got to be this. We are playing as Takeda, right? Although, actually... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Reset. You get rank three of strategist. And then cavalry commander. Okay, good. Up to three stars now, Milado. Not bad. Can you still merge units in this game? Also, get that repaired. And don't upgrade that market, because we know what happens if we do. <laughs> oh no, we're already on minus one food. Ah, oh, crap. It's because this place is too big, isn't it? because it consumes food three and it only has farms farms level two ah oh, shit you do not know how to fix this it's why there are no shields you have peasants for that <laughs> indeed See you, Joe Parrot. It's 2.30 a.m. for you. Man, are you, are you down in, in, like, Australia or something? Demote a stronghold in the safe province. I don't know how you demote a stronghold. I don't think that's a thing you can actually do. I can't remember a Total War game in which you could demote a city. Rush the tech for better rice farms. You say rush, man. It's going to take six fucking turns. And I'm going to have to give up researching Zen while I'm at it. That's going to be six fucking turns of famine, man. And then the extra turns additionally required to actually upgrade the farms. This is bad. This is really bad.
Ah, fuck. Well, there's not much I can do about it, I suppose, so we might as well just press on. I fucking hate the food mechanic in this game. I don't know why it exists. I do not know. Like, what functional purpose does the food mechanic serve aside from irritating the player? Genuinely, could someone can someone explain to me why the food mechanic is a good thing in this game? Does anyone have a, have a reason why it's good and why it adds to the experience? Because I don't fucking think it does. Uh, let's see. Hojo attacking the Imagawa, huh? That's inconvenient. All right, fine. Jesus Christ, the Yusugi are expanding like mad right now. That's a little scary. I think the Hojo, I mean the Oda might have just been wiped out. Mounting unrest, yep. Equal fields. Enemy ninja detected. Oh. Our ninja detected. Our ninja detected. Food shortage in Echizen. Well, I guess this is where the army is right now, keeping order at least. Um. You guys are just going to have to chill there for now. Oh, we're now. We now have a border with the Iko Iki again, which is not great, but fine. Stay put there, lads. I'm going to recruit another army. Firebomb throws. So silly, but fine. Go on. <laughs> Tax-exempt Etchison. I mean, they're actually happy is the weird thing. It doesn't change the food situation. It just makes them... It just changes public order, effectively. But they're already happy because of the massive military presence, so... Honestly, I don't see a reason to do it. You backseating bastards. You're wrong. Oh, rip odor. We hardly knew ye. Raining fire upon the enemy has a devastating effect on their morale and the structural integrity of their buildings. <laughs> Good. Iko Iki revolts. Oh shit. All right then. Uh, I'll have to go deal with that. Auxiliary supplies. Oof. That would be really good actually right now. Yeah, do it. Invest in supplies. Why, hello there. Well, this place is going to have to be tax exempt while I send the army to go deal with this. Small issue. Running away, eh? You yellow bastard. Uh... Really want my fire cavalry. 
really do. Still recruiting those samurai. Great clan destroyed. There it is. Bye, Oda. R.I.P. Actually, no, wrong way, wrong way. You should be spying on the damn Hojo because I'm at war with those fuckers now. I haven't played Three Kingdoms. To be honest, uh, I just still it still doesn't really interest me. Title War is sort of I feel like it's run its course a bit with me. Ah, uh, really, guys? Really? You want to do this, do you? Very well. I've got to finally use my goddamn cavalry, actually, that'd be nice. You've heard of death by cop. Well, this is this is the death by Takeda right now. Sneak past our defenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The question is, where are they? Kind of thought that as the defender, I would get to deploy second, but I guess not. No bowmen, which is annoying. They're over here. Okay. Alright, we just gotta hold the line here. Till the reinforcements arrive. Which might take a while. The 
horse at least will get here fast. Excellent. Iko, we could do have our own in units, yep. I'm just saying they got Yari Ashigara and they've got Iko Iki Yari Ashigara. Subtle difference. They even look different. There's your regulars. There's your Iko Iki ones. They got all the Buddhist paraphernalia on. Right, cavalry is arriving. Good stuff. Now it's going to be a bit tricky considering how many spearmen they ultimately have. Uh, can I? Uh, whatever. I'll look at my own. Very good against cavalry. You see, that's a problem. That is a problem. We'll have to try and play this quite smart. You know what? I could get them into the castle and dismount them and help with the defense. I think I'll get the general in there. Yeah, I think I want to get rid of the archers. That's that's for sure. I'm gonna wait till they start trying to scale the walls, and then. Is in grave danger, my lord. No, he isn't. Oh, we've attracted some of them already. It seems. Oh, I no, just tire them out then. In that case. They're distracted, that's fine. Keep riding, keep fucking riding. Ugh. Trying to use cavalry in a game where all the basic infantry seem to have fucking spears. My lord! A glory! 
glorious victory will soon be yours! Well, the main column, it seems, is arriving. They took the scenic route, apparently. The AI is not covering itself in glory right now, I've got to say, but on the other hand, it could be doing a much worse job. Oh boy, guys, you need to get up there quicker. <laughs> They're catching up. Repelled that assault fairly handily. Routing, good stuff. Not a moment too soon. Get away from the spearmen. Oh, well, look, there's a whole Barney going on over here. Cavalry once again to chase them down. Oh. There it goes. Oh, I think that went relatively well. Very strange battle that one, but uh, kind of fun. I've got to say, it was a bit out of the ordinary. this guy here without the balloon on his back actually maybe is it 
I mean, that matches his portrait down here, so I guess it is him. The men are fatigued, my lord, and some must rest. Yeah, the cavalry are probably quite knackered, aren't they? Yeah. Kill as many of them as you can before they get off the map. Come on. Please. You guys are doing well. They just took a bit of a battering on the wall here, but game as good as they got at least. Lots of dead dudes down here. I assume these guys died when trying they fell off trying to climb up. Perhaps. Because so I know that happens. You do lose some of them on the climb. Just amazes me they chose to attack here, like at the long, the, the highest point, you know. Galaxy brains. All right, we are done. Well, I fit stream for the samurai in the future. Probably not. No. There was a vote. I put up a vote, a poll on Twitter asking people which campaign they wanted to see, and people voted for this one by an overwhelming majority, so. Besides, I am not that into the gun combat in Total War games anyway. I only lost 305. That'll certainly do. Cavalry getting upgrades, nice. Jesus Christ, I thought I went from one chevron to three. <laughs> Fair enough. Rebuild that. You guys head back that way. My fresh, new, awesome Naginata Samurai you can go that way. Convoy of troops going. No, not Bo Samurai, just Bo Ashigaru. Upgrade the roads. Naginata cavalry a thing in this game. I can't flip and remember. Should be, I think. No, they were in the original. If 
Farms got raided by the rebels, by the way. My farms got raided. The armorer got raided. I see no raided farms. Chat. I don't approve of backseating in general, but I, I disapprove even more strongly of backseating that's just wrong. Spy on the Hojo for me. How are they getting on right now? They seem to be winning temporarily, at least. Oh, hello, Mr. Ikoiki Ninja. With a lot of stars? Chat is always right, stream is always wrong, yeah. Oh, I forgot to move my ninja again. Damn it. You little bastard. He's so sneaky. I forget that he's there. Oh, I really don't need another general. No, bugger off. Sakai have been destroyed. Oh, well, uh... Enemy ninja. Another enemy ninja. Good grief. Why wow. all the enemy ninjas are always more experienced than mine as well. It makes me sad. <laughs> Need to keep an eye on the eco, because I am neighbors with them now. And they control a fair old chunk of territory too. Okay, it's starting to look like an army. Actually, take a peek at that for me, and then head this way. Okay, where is Hojo's main army then? Because I ain't seen it anywhere. I guess it might be over here somewhere. Oh, actually, it looks like it's over here because they've taken Mikawa. That's interesting. They just straight up skipped to Tomi and went over there. The Ashikaga Shogunate. We actually have met them now. You know what we could trade with? We do have a free port, it seems. Let's trade with the Chosokabe. How about that? Welcome. Trade agreement. Yes. Anyone else? Doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, we can stop exempting these guys for now, probably. Looks like, yeah, we can. Nice. Alright, we can have a lot of 
bowmen here very shortly. Let's get some katana cavalry, especially since we can recruit them in a single turn now, which is awesome. Just really wish I could get proving grounds, but alas. Alas, it is not to be. Not until my farming technology gets upgraded and I can upgrade the, the fortress. Yeah, Oda are pretty decent. I've had a decent Oda campaigns in the past, both in the first Shogun and this one. Big old chunk of cavalry, which is nice. Honestly, now I think we just want more spear peasants to fill out the rest. It is kind of hard to go wrong with those uh, little spear peasants in this. Little Yari Ashigaru, they're, they're pretty great. They're pretty great. Good all round unit. Whoa, hello, we found Kyoto. I suppose we can assassinate the Shogun himself. <laughs> Very low chance of that happening. <laughs> the Ikoiki are sort of more or less doing the, what I did when I played them. them rushing down to the southwest. Although, by this point when I was playing them, I'd actually captured Kyoto. Okay, there he is. To continue investigating how this little battle down here is going. Because once this army's ready to go, and it will be very soon, the poor Hojo are going to get such a rude awakening. Because they've left their stuff basically defenseless, it seems to me. Ooh, go upgrade the armor. Do you know what? Let's do it. We've got plenty of money. Yusugi is still scaring me a bit, i got to admit. We're friendly with them, we're allied with them for now, but Jesus Christ, look at the amount of land they, they, they currently have. Although, it's deceptive, isn't it? Because some of those provinces they control are just really big. In terms of number of actual settlements, it's not so much. Uh, uh. Oh, good. What? That's not what I wanted at all. Uh, who do I want to lead this army, actually? This lad here, I think. As fun as it would be to take Shingen himself. He did possibly die in battle in real life, so maybe we shouldn't tempt fate. Let's, let's bring this guy, because he's quite young. That gives him more opportunities to win battles and get 
prestige and stuff. So let's move you out and move you in. And that is a workable army, I think. Possibly a bit light on archers, admittedly, but whatever. Oh, I've taken the bloody daimyo with me. <laughs> Whoops. I did that all wrong. Okay. I go in Wyoming. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, if I if I'd remembered the food problems we would end up having, I would have rushed uh, this this farm upgrade tech here. Honestly, it's uh, so annoying. Stupid food mechanic in this game. I, I loathe it. I really do. But whatever. The Otomo have been destroyed. Uh, slightly later than scheduled, but they've been destroyed nevertheless. Alright. This is where some of the Hojo are hanging out. Are the Imagawa and the Ikoiki actually at war? They are, yeah. Mostly because I'm at war with them and we're allied and stuff. Problem is, we're now heading into winter, so if I don't capture a settlement straight away. Oh, you want a peace treaty? Nah, no, no, no. I smell an opportunity here. I'm not having a peace treaty with you, friend. Mounting and rest in cargo. And air chisel. Well. You know what that means. The religious thing is the issue here. Unfortunately. Terrace farming. Yes! Do it! Equal fields. Fucking finally. Right. Monastery. Oh, that gives us warrior monks. Oh, ho, 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 ha, 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 ha. Warrior monks are nice. What's the thing we need for for fire cavalry? Trying to remember. We need proving grounds. Get proving grounds, I need to get them. Buildings. Oh, you need an encampment, which then becomes proving grounds. Fucking hell. Alright. Um. I guess we need to go for heaven and earth thing because that'll give us an encampment which will then later allow us to get proving grounds at some point yeah there's the attrition okay 
Where do we want to go? Saruga? I say Saruga. Right, I'm just gonna auto resolve this, I think. Probably take fewer casualties that way. Yeah, lost zero. Excellent. Get that repaired. Leave him there to keep an eye on them. Actually, no, change my mind. Ninja can keep an eye on them. Send you back this way. Come on. I said move. Get moving. The Yari cavalry would be so nice. The fire cavalry are good too. Those. Oh, 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 oh. Do want. <clears throat> Do want. My income's way down now, isn't it? Bloody hell. That's not good. No, there are ambulance outside. Just thought I'd update you on that. Don't know if you heard it on the microphone. Alright, I guess easy next. Today is the world, the world. Yep, we can get there this turn as well. Brilliant. Do 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 do. Oh, you're kidding me, really? You just can't, you can't possibly go that extra inch, can you? No. That's what she said, I suppose. <laughs> right. Oh, they're reacting. They are reacting. Try and sabotage the army. Probably fail, but it succeeded. Bloody hell! Look at that. Nice. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Did rank up, but well done. I forget what sabotage the army really does. Doesn't it slow them down, or am I thinking of a different Total War game? There we go, get some money back flowing back in. These guys will have to stay exempt for now, I think. But that's fine. Boy, why are you guys exempt? Oh, because you're actually not very happy, as it turns out. This religion's causing the issues again. Let's see if we can get away with increasing tax income 
with the ones that aren't exempt, yeah. Looks like we probably can. Gives us a bit more buffer. Damn it, just attack. Just go a little bit further. Oh, hello. An army just turned up. Actually, that's a good idea. Just one random little garrison unit. That would do it. It would pay for itself as well if it was... If it was enabling me to do taxes. Right. Let's quickly auto-resolve this. Very good. I only lost 27 guys. Ranked up as well while we were at it. Peacefully occupy it. Oh, so they've got gold here. Nice. Get that repaired. Get you ranked up again. Oh, again? No, you're a different general completely, aren't you? Right, just get the first two ranks of strategist. And surgeon? Or this guy? I think the surgeon replenishment rate is really nice. And now go kick these guys in the face. Yari Samurai, Katana Samurai, and some Bow Samurai. Full on Samurai army, this one. It's actually good news for us, though, because versus a horde of peasants with spears, we're actually going to have more use for our, for our cavalry in this little battle here. Purple regions? Uh, that would be the Shugi, yeah. There are some factions in this that weren't in the original Shogun. And there's, I think there might be some original Shogun factions that aren't in this as well. Because, like, for example, I'm pretty sure the Tokugawa were a faction, playable faction in Shogun 1. But, on the other hand, Shogun 1 did not have uh, the Date, or the Ikoiki, or uh, the Chosokabe. First battle in the open? In this stream, yeah. Rain. No, I'm happy to wait. I'm happy to wait even more. There we go. たなは抜いた。敵方に一人でも生き残りがいる限り、この方ら鞘には収め。全ては Apparently. Another thing about the Warscape engine, I want to point out here, because I do love ragging on the Warscape engine. But the whole point in Rome Total War of transitioning to a 3D map with tiles that you could walk around on instead of a risk style province based map like in the first two total war games was that when you attacked a province the terrain on the battlefield would reflect the terrain that's actually seen on the 3d campaign map but when they introduced the warscape engine they not only made the ai's job harder by allowing them to move anywhere without even restricting it to a grid let alone provinces they also made it so that the uh, the, the the battle map terrain was in no way related to the campaign map terrain. Which defeats the entire point of having a 3D map, 3D campaign map in the first place. So, yeah, that's a thing. Just, uh, you know, 
just 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 pointing out another bit of creative assembly stupidity because that's that's a hobby of mine it seems Cavalry. These guys I got for free thanks to an event. Should be able to wreak some havoc with this with these fellas, I think, today. Now, do they have archers? They have some bow samurai. Crane. Moving circular formation enabling them to con fire a constant rate of missiles at the enemy. Yes. Hey, check it out. Is that Mount Fuji or is that a different one? Oh yeah, what they did to modding uh, is a bit. Yeah, I, I'm basically in total agreement with you there. God, get into skirmish mode, lads, come on. Might honestly be better off in loose formation. running free yay i am free hooray Samurai archers, yeah, yeah, follow me out here. Move away from the rest of your force. See how that helps you. Oh shit, those aren't the archers. <laughs> Whoops. Don't read chat and direct battles, folks. These guys at least do not have spears. Don't text and war, yeah. <laughs> at least it was only light cavalry. We don't really give a shit about them. They're routing? My god, they're routing. They do not like it up them, it seems.
Big tree. Well, there it is. No, a glorious last stand that was not. Ten losses, 268 heads taken, as they said in the original Shogun. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah. As long as you're not facing a horde of peasants with spears, cavalry do actually seem to be pretty, pretty monstrous. Especially if you're playing as Takeda, I guess. They are unique to us after all these these Katana cavalry, specifically. It's one of the reasons I like Takeda in the first Shogun, is because fucking, you know, cavalry are probably good at that game when used correctly. Whoop. That's the end of that then. They had the best cab in this period. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's why all their faction bonuses are entirely cavalry related, so. If any faction should be able to route a bunch of samurai with a cavalry charge, it shouldn't be this lot. That's what we do. 75 men lost. 601 killed. And, uh, yeah, a few rank ups as well. Oh, and they went from two chevrons to three in, in a single battle, which is nothing to sniff at. But with that many kills, that's uh, kind of to be expected, I suppose. We has good cavalry. Ah, oh, forget you next turn. Damn you. Meanwhile... What are the hojo going to do over here, is the question. There's gold in them there hills. That's going to help a lot. Proved irrigation. Or terrace farming, please. There's a commander stance that basically gives the general dismount and sit his ass down on a chair surrounded by his bodyguard that gives you units a major morale boost. <laughs> Another weaponsmith here as well. That's good. These good stuff. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It annoys me that I have an army up here that's basically doing F all. But what are you gonna do? They need to sit there both to keep these provinces in order and also to keep this border here secure from the Iko Iki. Who are a problem for me, really. I mean, they're a problem in general, the Ikoiki. They're nasty, but they're a problem particularly for me, mostly because their armies are entirely composed of fucking spearmen. <laughs> so. Ah, they're, they're, they're going to fight the Imagawa. The Imagawa have just gone from... Zero to hero, back down to zero again, haven't they? Poor bastards. So 
Sabotage. Oh. Ah, right. You guys are going to want to be exempt from tax, aren't you? Fair enough. Very good. I think this is this is not the last Tojo province, so I feel fine with auto resolving it. If it was the real true last stand of the Hojo, then I would be I, I'd want to see it in person. But yeah, I'll take zero losses. Thank you very much. We are now prominent. Yeah. Look how uncomfortably sandwiched in we are, though, on the map. Look at that. It's just one line of provinces down the middle here. It's a little scary. And the Hojo took this, did they? Oh, interesting. Okay. Actually, you need to you need to get home because there's a, there's a there's a bloody there's a bloody ninja in my province right now in my capital causing me problems. There he is, the little shit. Next turn, I'm gonna get you. And honestly, I need to exempt you from tax, and this army needs to start marching back this way. Detected. Okay. Why is this ninja so bad? <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my god, they're closer than I thought they were. Let's see how this guy gets on. It's unlikely he will be successful. Yep. <laughs> he got away at least. Useless bastard. Oh, it has increased in rank. That's nice. Right. Tiger claws. Unmanned samurai. Go with the tiger claws, I think. Yeah, they're probably going to take Suruga back off me next turn. I would suspect, but that's okay. Might as well cancel that. Are we repairing this? Repair it, damn it. Can we unexempt this this place now? Yeah, we fucking hell, man. Mind you, if I were to reduce global tax income, they might be all right with it. Yeah, they would. So yeah, that's okay. I'm looking at the bank campaign map right now, and I'm... You notice that? Right there, that big white faction? I think that's the Ashkaga Shogunate, but I might be wrong. Whatever it is, it all seems to be one rather big faction.
Suspicious death. This man died at the hands of an enemy agent. Tried and executed. An enemy Metsuke had our agent executed and having having implicated them in crimes against the people. Damn it. <laughs> My fucking ninja finally ranked up and then he died. Unbelievable. Apprehend. There we go. That's one dealt with. They didn't actually attack me. That surprises me. Fine by me, of course, but I'm a, I'm a little surprised. Farms here to get rid of that food problem. So, apart from sabotaging an enemy, I did Munihira actually succeed in anything? Well, he was a good spy for the most part. He did lots of scouting, which was nice. But really, um, no, I don't think he actually succeeded at any agent action apart from the sabotage, yeah. Never noticed that purple faction before. Who is it that controls all this over here? Because I know the Shimazu got wiped out very early on. Which amazed me, but it happened. Army sabotage. That's annoying. Brilliant. Okay. Uh... Spirit expertise. Attack by fire. Way of the sword. Way of the bow, way of the sea. Um we give him that. You little shit, come here. I'm gonna try and apprehend you. Failed. I kind of expected that, but that's alright. We'll try again next time. We'll get him next time. Oh boy, here we go. Proper battle now. Coming up. Da -da 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 -da. Anything else we need to be doing right now? They're still not very happy. We can get away with taxing them. Not quite them, though. Can get away with taxing them. All right. Last stand of the Hojo. Here we freaking go. Next turn, apparently. Ah, it's annoying. <laughs> I think it's the sabotage that did that. If it was them that were sabotaged, anyway. Not sure. Gee, I think it was this up here. It's kind of dangerous, actually, considering my daimyo is here. And they have, a, like, a level fucking six assassin. Hanging around my daimyo. I'm not sure I like that, you know. I'm not sure I like that at all.
Well, you know, <laughs> I guess maybe Sim will get to find out how, how Shingen died in, in our particular game. I mean, like, because what one of the stories of how the guy died was was that he was apparently sniped by by an archer. I think that's the way one of them went. I think that's the version that they went for in Kagimusha. But there's sort of uh, there's lots of different stories about how the guy died, and nobody really knows for sure which one was the real one. Mr. Metsuke. What are you doing? I think you just killed my Metsuke. You twat. Alright, you know what? They're going to give me a field battle, which is I would have greatly preferred to a siege, so I am totally down with that. What have you got? Firebomb throwers, some Ashigaru, some bow samurai, some Yari, some Katana dudes, Katana cavalry. Alright! In front of the, probably another 45 minutes or so, I think. I'm just gonna skip this. It's fine. The, I, the, the general speeches are not nearly as fun when they're not in English. Right, uh, okay. Like that. Firebomb throwers. I don't know if they'll end up doing anything useful this battle, but we'll find out. And my cavalry. Alright, I think we're ready to rock and roll. they'll be coming to us in this battle, which is always nice. I played a lot using the Hojo in, in the original Shogun, mostly because you had to play as them in the Mongol invasion campaign. I think their whole thing was that they got very cheap strongholds or something at the time sort of there. Uh, gimmick, if you like. Oh, hello, they've got cavalry on the move and all. If you know something, they're better than my light cavalry, these ones. Firebombs. Kaboom! <laughs> Our general is in grave danger, my lord! Like fuck is he? We get behind the hill then. Take cover.
Losing decisively. Well, that won't do. Let's get stuck in there. Light cavalry move on that way. Yeah, keep pulling these guys with arrows. got this in the bag I think to get the uh, archers to stop archering so don't kill my own dudes but yeah let's just chase as many guys down as we can now to stop them getting back to the, uh, the castle for me to deal with later caught most of them. Oi, I told you fuckers to stop firing. Who's shooting? Stop shooting! Bloody hell. to die. That'll do for now. Excellent. as well. More chevrons on my katana cavalry. Yes! Some very experienced Yari Ashigari there as well. Good grief. <laughs> Mostly because I suppose the few that remain in that squad are, are naturally going to be quite experienced after that. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's some very experienced... Katana cavalry. Like it. Lost a lot of Naginatas. Yeah, I did, but, you know, they had to kind of hold the line in the middle there for, for longer than I would have liked. And in that, they did a pretty good job. It, it's really age of the... Uh, age of the weird non-playable clans in this game, isn't it? Looking at that map. Tried and imprisoned. Oh yeah, that was my Mets K. Hmm. 
All right, Hojo, I've had just about enough of your meddling. I, think I will do this little battle here, and then I'm going to call it for, for now. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't have a problem with the with the non-playable clans going berserk and just taking over half the map. I think that's quite fun. <laughs> because the Mori got wiped out like super early, didn't they, in this one? And then the Shimazu came right just right after them. Ooh, how are we going to deal with this, eh? I feel like we might take a few casualties in this one. Um, <laughs> going to be bottlenecked to buggery, it looks like. All right. Cannon fodder at the front. Oh, yeah, my poor Najinata Samurai had, had, had a bit of a bad deal in that last match, didn't they? That's all that's left of them. Still, you did good, lads. You did good. So we can make use of the firebomb throws in this one. That should be a giggle. Mount. You don't need to run, there's no rush. Bloody hell. How many archers do they have? If they don't have any, this won't be so bad. What if the firebomb guys can take out that archery tower? Because that's, that's pretty much what I want to do with them. There's apparently a really strong wind blowing by the looks of things. My goodness. Not necessarily reflected in the trees, though. My goodness. The Hojo. They smell so bad you can see it. Flying out of the fortress on the breeze. Again, there's no need to rush, honestly. Just gonna tie yourselves out. Cool bridge.
Yeah, very nice of them not to not to hold me at the bridge. Very polite of them. This would be a really fun siege battle for a multiplayer game. This particular map. Really big siege battle in a multiplayer game. You could have a lot of fun with this. a couple points. Can you? I mean, it doesn't look like it. But then I'm not sure what it looks like if you can. Right. Yariyashi Gary. Yeah, you got there. Start absorbing some uh, arrows for me. And my fire bombers. And blow up that tower. I want to see this. Shallow water is displayed on your cursor when you mouse over it. Oh, this is all shallow water then. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it is. Interesting. Kaboom! You guys should probably be in loose formation. Go on, throw some more bombs before you're all killed. <laughs> That's very cool. Less effective than I thought it would be, if I'm completely honest, but hey ho. About it, folks. Yes, as, as has been commented on, the fire effects in this game are gorgeous. Look at that.
Have we blown this up yet? <laughs> Not quite. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shame for spree. Who's running? Oh, it's them. George! Who's gonna win? Seems to be squad leader versus squad leader or something here. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. See, this is the problem with Warscape. You see, you notice how units can't attack. Yeah, it's multiple units can't attack the same guy. This is this was a really big problem with with the with this generation of Total War games. You can't have two guys bullying a single guy in combat. And when you take that into consideration and you multiply it by an entire battle, it means the melee combat becomes really weird and awkward. That's why you have strange scenarios where you've got a unit of 60 guys fighting a single man. And only one of those 60 guys can fight that single man at a time. It's just endless, endless duels because Creative Assembly were obsessed with their, you know, mo-capped animations. Were, it was really bad in Empire Total War because they didn't even manage to get the units to spread out correctly. What would happen was, well, kind of what's happening here, really, is two units were going to melee with each other and two units occupying a square about this, this, this big, if you put them together, you know, in formation, they would squidge into a tiny clump of units about that big as they all moshed into melee with each other. Because unlike in Rome and Medieval 2 and Shogun 1 and Medieval 1, there was no, the units sort of clip, were perfectly capable of clipping into each other. <laughs> Finally blew up that tower, I see, good. <laughs> Action here. So these guys slowly march up to catch their breath. Secondary objective completed, yes. <laughs> oh, here it comes. does look cool seeing the arrows go up in the background like that. Oh, hello. Credit where it's due, that looked cool though. I hate to waste my, my katana samurai like this, but uh, I've kind of run out of cannon fodder, so <laughs> don't really have an option. Meanwhile, these guys are just standing there being shot at. It's like, uh, rain's a little heavy today. Yeah, I, I, th I noticed that too. Uh, there it is. Isn't a waste of katana samurai. It's a good. I mean, it's a waste in terms of. 
I'm expending them in a siege that I'm almost certain to win. And it will take ages to replenish the casualties they do take now later when they could be far more useful in a pitch battle where they may, may actually you know, turn the tide. This battle's a foregone conclusion, which is why it feels like a bit of a waste, but it would ultimately be even more of a waste to send in my dismounted cavalry, so didn't really have an option. Kill Bill slash Tenshu Blood Fountains. <laughs> Very nice. Any upgrades? Not much, it seems like. Ah, one of the Katana Samurai units leveled up. That's good, at least. And that is the end of the Hojo. Peacefully occupy. Well, sort of the end of the Hojo. Except it's not, is it? Because they've taken another town over here. The... It's not the end of the Hojo. Never mind. Never mind. False fucking alarm. Right. Level three of that. And... Hmm. Cavalry commander. Makes sense, right? Might as well finish this guy off, I suppose. Lovely. They conceivably no, I don't think they could. No. Not this turn, so tell you what, get back in and sit in the town. Lick your wounds a bit. Can we merge these? No, I don't think we can. I mean unless I have to manually click and drag it. Or is that another feature that's missing? Oh no, we can do it. Phew. We can actually merge our guys. Nice. Recruitment. Can't recruit anything. Mostly because the castle's damaged, which is fair enough. We'll get some replacement cannon fodder though. Oh hello, we can get no dashi samurai down here. And bow samurai and katana samurai. Hello. Of course, this was probably their old capital, wasn't it, Izu? So no, no wonder it's quite well equipped. Still, I just want peasants, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, the music in this game is lovely. I really like them, the campaign map music, especially the winter season music with the chimes. It's very zen. Well, our little empire stretches from coast to coast now, which is nice. And we're also hoovering up all of Imagawa's former home territory as well, which is crazy. A lot of migration going on in this campaign. <laughs> so what's this over here then? Is this all... This is all Matsuda. All of this here is all Matsuda. And this on the northern coast is Taka... All... Ta Takaoka? This is all the Marco, all the way over to here, and then the rest of Shikoku is... Is it Shikoku, or is this Shikoku? I don't remember. I think this is Shikoku. This is Kyushu, right, yeah. And all of this is the... the, uh, the Ito. Because poor Shimazu, they didn't last very long. Which is a shame, because I think the Shimazu are probably my favourite clan. But... Yeah, whatever. Sad to see them go. The Mori were actually the first first faction I ever played as in the original Shogun, and it was purely because... Ooh, they're red. I like red. 
Red's a good colour. I'll pick them. And didn't do very well with them at all. I got my ass handed to me. And then I went away, read the manual a bit, came back, and I played a game as the Shimazu, and I ended up going on to win it. So I have a lot of love for the Shimazu. They had really good Nodachi Samurai in, in Shogun 1, and Nodachi Samurai in general in Shogun 1 were a really, really awesome unit. And they had the extra good ones, so... Mori, yeah, Mori's the naval faction in this, but uh, I think they had a completely different set of... They were all about um, warrior monks, I think, in the first game. Mori, if I recall, they were, their, 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 their gimmick was, uh, was better warrior monks. Bearing in mind there was no Iko Iki or anything like that in uh, in the first Shogun. Look at them casually trespassing on my territory like that. <laughs> the the cheek. Army sabotage. Again? Dude, just give it up. Can I recruit a Metsuke? In fact, I have one. He's right here. Please go and apprehend this ninja. He's really annoying. <laughs> Bloody hell, we finally did it. Brilliant. Stupid six-star ninja. Get out of town. Dude's leveled up as well. Fair play, mate. Fair play. I am the law. <laughs> Let's go with this. Mm -mm. Duelist. I like how his dead body is lingering on the map. <laughs> It's not going anywhere. Well, that unit isn't going anywhere because it was sabotaged, but we can send you along there. Korean force. Oh, and uh, you guys as well. Off you pop. More cannon fodder on its way to the front lines. Agent released. And we released our agent from imprisonment. Oh, it was, right. That's what happened to him. He wasn't killed. He was just imprisoned. This this Metsuke here. That's what happened. So he got released from imprisonment and then immediately, <laughs> immediately went out to apprehend his arch nemesis. Oh man, I you know what? I still part of me misses the days of written AARs after action reports from the old Total War forums. Because that, right there, you could have turned that into a very, very amusing little story if you were writing an AAR about this campaign. Was that ninja imprisoned? Oh, I thought I'd executed him. I guess I got a little... Yeah, tried and imprisoned, you're right. Never mind. Well, at least he's gone for now. Their, their duel will continue, those two. Their eternal battle. Good stuff. Well, anyway, I'm going to save the game now. See, things seem to be going relatively well, generally speaking. We really need to get scouting up here and all this stuff. I don't know what's going on. I've I have no idea. We haven't even encountered the Date clan yet, and I have no idea how well they're doing. 
So I don't think they've been wiped out yet. So. And then there's this little clan down here, the Satomi. I think we're going to be gobbling up the Satomi next. I have a feeling once once the Hojo are dealt with, they're going to be next. Nah. And then at that point, we'll practically be bordering nobody but uh, but other major clans, including the Iko Iki, who... I mean, the good news is that we'll be able to attack them from two fronts. We can attack from up here, and we can attack from down here, which will be good. And I'm glad that the Imagawa are here, holding this, this particular pass into the heart of our territory as well, so... Yes, yes, yes. Anyway. Exit to Windows. We are done here. So. Yeah, they, the Iko Iki are a bit of a plague, aren't they, in this game? They are a bit of a plague. Anyway, so um, I will be back streaming again whenever. As usual, there is no real schedule at the moment, so I'm just sort of streaming whatever afternoons I happen to be free to do it. Um, so I'll be back whenever. I may choose to continue this campaign a bit further. I mean, it's starting to get quite good, so I may, con may continue that. Uh, I intend to continue the Dudley the God Dominions 5 playthrough. But that one, that one's a real mountain to climb, that one. Fucking early era Ulm versus, versus Abyssia and Mekon and, uh, and Yomi as well. Blah. What a cocktail of nasty factions to have to deal with. Um, but we'll, we'll get back to that at some point, I think, and try and climb that particular mountain. Because I'm, I think it can be done. I, I reckon it can be done, but, uh, yeah. What about Mountain Blade? Not really feeling Mountain Blade, to be honest. Not really feeling it. I've played a bit more of Bannerlord off screen with a different character. And it's not floating my boat. I've got to be honest. It's kind of not floating my boat. I've not been enjoying it very much. I've been trying, but I've not really been enjoying it very much. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm bad at the game and my characters have really crap stats. Um because I'm constantly getting my ass kicked all of the time, and I'm making very little progress, and it's not a lot of fun, honestly. So yeah, don't, don't, don't count on seeing that on here again anytime soon. Still no auto block for shields, yep, no. Uh, no auto block. No auto block at all. Still, I keep keep checking every time a patch comes out. I keep going to the options menu to check if it's there, and it's not. So that doesn't help either. Unfortunately. So never mind. You're far more likely to see me play Battle Brothers because Battle Brothers is floating my boat to them, and I'm very much enjoying it. And Battle Brothers is effectively, in some ways, like a turn-based mountain blade. So. Similar overall concept, just with uh, really cool turn-based battles. Although far fewer troops, obviously. It's not like armies, it's, it's like your mercenary band. But that's okay, because, you know, you can individually equip them. And they have names and stuff, and it's a bit like playing Mordheim or something like that. It's nice, it's good fun. You only just noticed Chonkbird. <laughs> he has been very cunning and hiding. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh so I'm going to go away now and get some another Witcher video encoding and then I will be well obviously uploading it, so you'll have that to look forward to later this evening, folks, hopefully. But uh yeah, beyond that, I think I'll probably just sit down and play some Red Dead Redemption 2. And watch Peaky Blinders. That's the rest of my day planned out. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I intend to enjoy mine. So, yeah, have a good one. Have a good one. I will just check to see if there's anyone we can raid. Cat.
Illustrator is what is playing Snow Runner? Is that like spin tires? Isn't that like a thing with trucks? For you streaming? Oh, he didn't show up on the raid menu. No, he didn't show up. Now I've refreshed it now, and he's actually there. Okay, right. Well, we'll go raid Variax then. He's playing Enderol, so some people have been nagging me to play that again. Go watch V stream it instead. <laughs> he enjoys it more than me anyway. So yeah, uh, let's do that. Raid Variax. Start raid. He's just getting started as well, I think, by the looks of things too. So that's perfect timing. Brilliant. All right. Go say hello to Mr. Variax. I would say spam some emotes, but his stupid bot bans you if you ban. Well, it doesn't ban you, but it deletes your messages if you spam emotes. Because uh, I, I don't know why. He, his bot is a bit draconian, unfortunately, but it, it is what it is. <laughs> so anyway, go on, go on, and say hello to him for me. I'll probably watch him for a bit while I'm in while I'm while I'm encoding that uh, Witcher video. So, all right, toodles, folks. Catch you next time.